Hi you guys, so I thought we would go ahead and sit down <coughs> and cough. I thought we would sit down for a little bit, do some chatting. I really wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got the other week. I also got my little Winnie the Pooh cup right here that I absolutely adore. So last weekend, I really wanted to vlog for you guys because I had promised you all I would take you with to Books A Million and Barnes and & Noble. And I sadly had a big fail. I checked my camera with, I had vlogged a little bit in the car, and then I started to vlog on the way into Books A Million. Find out my camera died and and I didn't charge my battery. So this is all you guys got from that day. Oh my gosh. Alan, mm -hmm. I need you to move your, my feet are stuck. I just stuck my feet. Just a little bit. I can't uncross them. Why do you have your feet crossed? Look what I did. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it. It's such a beautiful day. Look some alien. Here we come. Here we come. I'm excited to see all the cute little things in there. Really chipper, Connor? It's so cozy in here. So yeah, I was really, really upset at myself that something like that happened. Usually I have everything fully charged all the time and I must have just like completely had a brain fart or something and forgot to charge my camera. I still really want to show you guys some of the things that I got from Books A Million and then I bought like a little stack of books that I thought I would share with you guys as well. I know there's a lot of book lovers on my channel just from um, reading through a bunch of the comments so I thought you know what do it you know let's do it so yeah don't worry I will take you guys with again to Barnes and Noble and books a million I don't know when exactly but I will make sure that my battery is charged I'm really really sorry about that I know a lot of you guys really wanted to see that um so yeah I'm gonna save the books for last and I really want to show you guys some of the cute little decor animal decor type things that I found at books a million which I absolutely love so much even though it's not really hamster related I thought you guys might still want to see it and go crazy crazy or anything like that but I did find a few cute little things that just make me happy and also what I really wanted to talk to you guys about is I was thinking about adding some other things that I really, really enjoy doing to the channel. So I kind of really wanted to talk to you guys about that because as you all know that I have made second channels in the past and for some reason, I cannot for the life of me stay on top of a second channel. I had made one two or three years ago, no, three years ago probably. I literally have four videos up on that channel. I probably am going to delete that channel to be honest. So a lot of you guys know like I have also my art channel that I absolutely adore and I am keeping that channel because I still do my art here and there, probably not as much as I did the pre pre previous year um, where I was full blown in to doing my journaling. I still do journal um, from time to time when I do have time and I really, really feel like it. When I did start that channel, I think I kind of overdid myself just by a little bit, even though it helped me at the same time get through something very, very big in my life, I guess, if that makes sense. But I am hoping to film a session of me doing my journaling on that channel again. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out, um, but I just, I can't promise you when uh, the next time I will upload a video on there. I kind of feel like bringing some different kind of videos to this channel from time to time, just because I kind of feel like there's only so many hamster videos that um, I can make and sometimes it can get really, really difficult to come up with um, ideas and things like that. Like, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it can be really, really difficult. All right, like this will still stay a hamster channel. It's just, I would really like to share other things with you guys from time to time on this channel, whether that be vlogging, but you guys already told me you really enjoy the vlog, so we are gonna be definitely doing that a lot more often. I just really wanna share other things that I enjoy doing with you guys and 
let me know what you think about that in the comments please since i just rambled off for like an hour i found these adorable little measuring spoons and they have little squirrels on them and little hedgehogs I really hope that you guys can see that. They're little wooden ones. They're so adorable. And I thought it was really weird to find like measuring spoons at books a million, but I swear, like I said a million times, that store has every little single cute thing. Um, so this is by the brand Get Real. And um, the reason why I wanted to get these little measuring spoons is I would like to have some new ones for the hamster food. I wanted to get a new set at some point just because I don't have a set anymore and they're kind of sporadic laying all over the place kind of throughout the house so I don't even know where half of them are. That is just what it looks like and oh I just love it how there's like little hedgehogs and little squirrels on it. I just think it's adorable. Next thing that I found you guys were these oh, how cute are these socks? Now, these are knee-high socks in little tiny bears. Like, what is this? I had to have these. And actually, I want to wear them right now because they've been sitting in the bag forever. Oh, I love them. They're just gonna be so cozy. I absolutely love these and they actually had a ton of different kinds of animal related type sockies. It was so cute and I can't wait to get some more to be honest. Oh yes, I almost forgot about this. I found this cute little, it's a mirror, comp, it's a compact mirror and it's a little kitty. So this is what it looks like outside of the box. How stinking cute is this? And I've noticed I don't carry a little are you kidding me? Is it broke? Oh no, it's not. It was just the paper. It has like little lines on it and I thought it was I thought it was shattered. Oh, so cute. I have been needing like a little mirror to go in my purse. When I saw this, I thought it was the cutest little thing ever and I had to have it. Every time, like especially like when I go to a restaurant or something, um I'm always like having to run to the bathroom make sure there's like nothing stuck in my teeth or something. And now I can just pull up my little kitty mirror. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I absolutely adore mugs. I collect mugs. It's like my favorite thing in the whole entire world, collecting mugs. And again, this is kitty related. I wish they had a bunch of hamster related cute little things. I would die if I would see anything hamster related. I would buy it all up. So I found this little kitty mug, which is oh so adorable. Like different kinds of faces on it and they're wearing these super cool um, glasses. In the On the inside it says me out. Check me, me out. It's so cute. It's just a perfect size as well. I love big chunky mugs. Okay, so the next thing that I found actually came in this little box because I have already used it. And I did buy another one for my daughter, for the baby. She really, really needed a new nightlight or lamp. So I thought, let me pick up two because mama's gotta have one too. It is a cat table lamp and this is what it looks like, you guys. Like what? It is the cutest thing ever. I'm not even joking. So adorable and the light is really subtle. It's like a really subtle yellow light. The other one looks so cute in my daughter's um, room as well. I'm just, oh, I just love it so much. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is my little book haul right here. Um, before we get into that, recently I just told myself, you know what? make time for yourself because I absolutely love reading and I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of good books that have been coming out in the past year or so and I just really need to get my butt back into reading. So I picked up some books and the first one I saw was, wouldn't you know, um, Life and Death Twilight Reimagined the 10th Anniversary Edition. Um, I have read every single graphic novel and 
anything to do with Stephanie Meyer. I have all of the books, anything she's ever written. And I get to the store and I see this and I'm like, why do I not have it? Why? Like, why do I not have this <laughs> at home? Um, so I was pleasantly surprised and just super excited to see this. So I just cannot wait to get my butt into this one. The thing I got was the another copy of Fangirl. I already have the other copy and I've read Fangirl I think twice now. I actually want to read it a third time in this gorgeous book. This is the special, no, I'm sorry, the exclusive collector's edition. Um, I've been actually looking for this everywhere. I was gonna order it online at bookdepository.com and I just, I don't know why, I just haven't done it yet. When I saw it at the store, the other day, I was like, I'm gonna get it this time because I want it on my shelf. I am a huge Rainbow Rowell fan, and I know a lot of you guys already know this because I talk about it a lot in my live streams. So yeah, I got it in my bookshelf now, and I'm really, really happy about it. The next one I got is Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. And I actually just finished this the other night. It took me two, two nights because I honestly could not put the book down. It was a really, really good book really good, easy, quick read for me, to be honest. A little bit in the beginning to really get into the story and like remember everyone's names and all the characters. But as soon as it started to take off, I couldn't put it down. I absolutely loved it. I'm really, really glad that I picked this one up. Now I've heard a ton about this book and I was like, I need to get my hands on it because I want to read it too. It's The Dreadful Tale of Prosperetti by Alexandra Bracken. I don't know if I said that right. I've heard that it's a little bit haunting, you know, a good read for like October because I like to get into, you know, the October mood and the fall and and Halloween and all that stuff. You guys already know that. So I just thought this read would be the perfect story for me during this month. So I just really wanna read this as soon as possible. <laughs> then the last two books that I bought because I have been dying, like I said, I took a little bit of break from reading. I read the first book out of the series, which is The Iron Trial um, by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. And I actually read the first book for or five years ago was it four it probably was four years ago um so i need to refresh my memory before i actually continue with this all i remember from the first book is how much i absolutely loved it and they're super short like they're not there, there's only what like 200 something pages. They are a really really quick read So it won't take me long to like reread the first one so I can just like refresh my memory Remember when I put the first book down four years ago? I was like I can't wait like I can't wait for these to come out Like I need to know what it's gonna happen next like right now You know I've just been wanting to get my hands on these and you know Last the last time I went to Barnes & Noble They actually didn't have them and I was so upset about it and then I thought Thought, let's order online Pam yeah go do it but then I didn't do it again when I saw them there this time I grabbed them immediately and I think the fourth book is coming out here very very soon as well so that'll probably be perfect timing for me so I can just read them all real quick and the next one will come out and I'll be very happy about that and the last things that I really wanted to share with you guys are a few candles that I bought this one that's right here is by Food Network and it smells like Sunday morning pancakes. And it is the most amazing candle I have had in a long time. It just makes the whole basement smell like pancakes and I am just so happy when I smell it. I tend to want to get bargains on candles because they, can, they tend to be really, really expensive. We actually have a store here called Gabe's and I bought this candle that is absolutely huge and it's probably going to take forever to like be done with um, for $2.99 and then I found these two candles for also $2.99 which is what they're huge so I got this one that smells like mandarin berry it just I oh my gosh I really wish you guys could smell this because it's just amazing and I love the little jars like what oh my gosh I just love it so much and they re it reminds me of like fall colors obviously honey pecan which smells like honey and pecan so strong <laughs> can't even like I can't wait to use these but I really want to 
have this one up for just a little bit longer because <sighs> pancakes. Yeah, I really had a lot of fun sitting down and chatting with you guys tonight. Um, well, even though we didn't really chat, just kind of showed you a bunch of stuff that I bought. Um, let me know, like I said, let me know if you guys want to see me, like, do different kinds of videos from time to time because I just think, um, I would rather ha do it on this channel than starting a brand new channel where I really would like to make videos about other things at times and um, just because I don't feel like, I don't think that I'm gonna stick with it. And that's not good, you know, that's not good. I just feel like this is my main channel and I would like to share everything with you guys on this channel. Yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see that or not. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But oh my gosh, yeah, I love these little things so much. I was actually thinking about getting a big glass jar for the hamster's food. Um, I probably have to look at Walmart for like, you know, like a big jar thing. I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna put my little spoon in it because it's so cute. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Actually, the next video will probably be Biggie Small's cage tour, which I'm excited about. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye!